Okay, here we go. We're going to learn how to find chi-squared tests for independence. So before we get started, um, so what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to decide whether variables in a sample are independent. So in the example I'm going to work with right now, uh, let's pretend that there was 400 adults. Uh, they were randomly selected from some population and we wanted to ask if they exercised. And so from the data that we collect, uh, we created a contingency table. And the contingency table basically says, OK, how many ma men did were, were um, randomly asked? There was 216 of them. How many females were randomly asked? 184. This is how many. So 208 is all the people that exercised. 192 is all the people who didn't exercise. 98 represents women that exercised, okay? So this is our contingency table. So uh, dependent variables are uh, variables that affect each other. So basically, if we called this in dependent, then we would mean that uh, a person's gender affects whether or not they exercise. And if uh, the, the data is independent, then that means a person's gender does not affect whether they exercise. So chi-squared basically collects, it, it uses data and comes up with a calculation to determine whether things are dependent or independent. So I'm going to use this example to help find our chi-squared calculations. So the data which you just saw in the table here, the 110, 106, 98, 86, that's considered or called observed frequencies. So this is the data that was collected. Now, um, in your assignments, they're going to ask you to calculate the expected frequency. Okay, so in order to calculate the expected frequency, I need to, to, like, for example, if I want to find out how many men um, exercise, what, to find the expected frequency, you multiply 208 times 2016 and divide it by our total, which is 400. So that's what I'm going to do. So to find this value right here, I did 208 times 216 divided by our total, which is 400. Okay, so that's how I found the expected value of 112.32. Okay, now I need to do the same thing for all four of these places, and then these are the expected values for each of these four things. Okay, now to calculate the chi squared, they use this formula, but just ignore that from now, right now. Don't look at that because that'll worry you. Okay, so um, okay, so this is the the expected frequency for men that exercise. This value here is the expected frequency for men that don't exercise. So what what's going to happen is I I take in order to figure out what this is, I take our frequency our um, observed frequency, which is these guys right here, the 110, 106, 98, and 86. Okay. Then I take my expected values, which I've just calculated. So like this one here is, is 216 times 192 divided by 400 gets me this. Okay. So I write all the um, expected frequencies here. And then we do the observed frequency minus the, expect, the expected frequency. So this one minus this one gives me negative 2.32. These aren't always supposed to be the same, but it just happens to be that way this time. And then we're going to take all of these values here and square them. Notice they all become positive, because when you square something, it becomes positive. And then I take all of these values here and divide it by the expect, expected frequency. So I'm going to take this one 
and divide it by 112.32, and I'm going to get this. Take this and divide it by 103.68. Okay, and then this right here stands for the sum. So basically, I'm going to take all of these in this this column here, and I'm going to take the sum. Like I said, this means the sum. So I'm going to take the sum of all these, and I'm going to get this. And what, uh, in order to find chi squared, we're basically going to use this value here, and we're going to talk about whether if it's small, that means our variables are independent. And this looks small to me. And in section um, S8C, we're going to discuss what is the definition of small. I hope this helps you with the assignment. In today's assignment, they're only going to ask you to calculate the expected frequency, and they're going to ask you to find the chi-squared calcula calculated. And, uh, and also in section S8C, we're going to show you how to do use the calculator so you don't have to do any of this. This is very important to understand how to do, though, because you might uh, want to do your IA on um, using chi-squared. Hope this helps.